I have no idea what the statue actually means, except for, well, it's carrying a school book and a soccer, so it's got to do something with school. Good morning and welcome, everybody. I, I found a ledge here. Uh, whether it's going to work or not, we are not sure. <laughs> it's not going to work. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining uh, today in this walking adventure tour. I am at a station called Ukimafunado. It's in the northern tip, just above Akabane in Tokyo. And we are going to start in this station area and we are going to walk north. Uh, we're going to cross over the Arakara... Ar Arakara, 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 Arakara um, River and show you kind of like the park area, I guess, uh, whether we go down in there or not. And then we are going to be walking um, up into the Toda, uh, Saitama area. So we are leaving Tokyo and we are going to Saitama. But honestly, I just found a really amazing place as soon as I walked out of the station, which we are going to show you. But first, I need to have a smoke um, and a coffee, and then we'll take you around. Tongue twisters, right? Uh, so this is kind of like uh, the station area that I'm at. And I found something right over there, which I'll be happy to show you guys as we walk around. I am kind of in an alley here. Uh, I just had to go grab a coffee, so... I do have my coffee ready. I'm gonna have a schmook, a schmook. Yes, I said a schmook. And I gotta hide and find a smoking area, which I don't think they have here. So it looks like Drew's gonna be smoking somewhere where I'm not supposed to be doing it. So 32 guests now, okay, no, huh, what? Gotta find a ledge, another ledge, a good ledge. Hey Jackson, uh, Bobby, somebody, hey Brat, how you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, if I don't recognize your name and say I don't recognize, <coughs> maybe you're just not a regular uh, in the live stream. Hey Cassie, how are you Marty? Um, I thought A1 was here. Who is Michael Jackson? Oh my God, Fang, really? I can get it, get over how clean the streets are. Yeah, it is. Hey Stephanie, how are you? Where am I? I just told you, Fang! Oh my God! The Fang, amazing TD crew member, but you don't listen! <laughs> uh, today, we are drinking Georgia coffee. The official coffee of the postponed Olympics. Ah, it is cold too, by the way. Hi, Sayerty. Hi, Leonie. If Robert, was Robert here? Oh, there he is. Oh God, I'm the only mod. I'm boned. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, well, there's a couple mods that can't make it today. Um, I also have a moderator that hasn't been in my live stream in a long time, so I'm probably gonna cut them because um, they don't associate anymore, but hey. Robert, thank you. To Drew, two live streams in a row. Uh, you're getting live streams every day because, hey, everyone. Uh, just for the fact that I do know <coughs> that, um, you know, you guys are all isolated and stuck at home. So why not try to give you a little bit of entertainment, take you where I am and uh, share Japan, share the world with you. Um, I look forward to your live streams every night. Thank you, Katura. Hello, follow the sun, Leone. There's Jackie. Hey. I'm sure Ramsey Silent will be in, I hope anyways. Who knows, maybe Mindy's mom might show up, you never know. So, uh, so yes, uh, if you want to Google Maps uh, and follow along with me, like some of you actually do. How's the tooth, Drew? Good question, I'll get to that in a minute. Ask me like two seconds, Marty, and don't go one, two, boom, post it again. Um, <coughs> I am in a station called Uki, Uki Mafunado. Say that five times, right? Um, I'm actually awake, hi, Mambo. Um, and uh, like I said, we're gonna be walking around this area because I found something really amazing, uh, just kind of like yesterday. And then we're gonna be walking and showing you the big Arakawa, Arakawa River and up to Toda. So we should be here for about an hour and a half, two hours. 
depends on how long my phone keeps going. Um, the tooth, Marty asked me about my tooth. I'm in freaking pain. Um, I'm almost on a liquid diet right now. Um, Arakara, yes, Leon. Um, I do have a sandwich, I gotta eat soft food. Um, hey, James, and uh, it's quite painful. I took painkillers last night, passed out. Take a Panadol, we, don't, we can't have Panadol in Japan. Uh, don't forget, there's a lot of drugs out there that you guys can have in your home countries that we are not allowed to have here in Japan. Pudding! Leone, you know me well. Pudding! Aloha, Melanie, how are you? Thank you for joining. My mother in Tokyo was saying it'll be a lockdown starting later today, is that true? No. As of tomorrow, uh, we believe that uh, Tokyo, uh, the prefectures of Tokyo, Saitama, Chiba, Kanagawa, so mainly the bulk of, of the Kanto area, Osaka, um, I believe Fukuoka or Kumamoto, and Hyogo prefectures will be uh, declared a state of emergency. Um, now, it's kind of like, again, like a soft lockdown, asking businesses to close, asking schools to close, asking people to stay inside. But here's something interesting. Due to the Japanese law, they cannot tell people to stay home. They cannot fine people. So basically, Japanese always goes on the honor system. Um, Paris telenol perhaps well I have loxanin um, I carry this is a pretty good I don't know if it's acetaphetamine or ibuprofen or you know whatever it is but that's what I'm carrying with me I took two this morning I'll take two later on and uh, go from there so uh, but yeah right now um, they made the announcement yesterday and uh, drew sell some in the alley <laughs> and basically yeah because you know Japanese tend to follow rules and tend to follow what they're told. They're hoping that, uh, I wish I had beer money, um, that uh, they are gonna follow what their suggestions are. So basically after Wednesday, tomorrow, I don't know what my company is gonna do. I don't know, um, I know that my wife is gonna tell me to stay home as much as I can. And uh, I'm just gonna throw you guys a bone or a fish hook. Um, Sunday, Japan Standard Time, we're gonna be doing another community hangout, um, well, kind of. I'm gonna have only one guest on my show, um, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. We're gonna be doing shots, because they're gonna be doing shots, and yeah, it's gonna be another epic live stream, I think. So, hello, Nancy, how are you? Thank you for joining. Uh, so it's not like Canada where the government can, no, it's not. Right? They will not find you. Yes, you can hang out with me, Tokyo and Drew. <laughs> so, I hope you're all doing well, by the way. I hope you're keeping safe. Um, it'd be really nice to uh, know how everybody is doing. Doing shots with Mikey Chen, I wish, Leon. I wish I could even have Mikey Chen even say hi to me. Hope they don't kill the mood. Well, that's the thing, Marty. <laughs> is um, the last live stream I'm gonna I'm gonna say and I don't care if the people see it but uh, it did get carried away and um, it, it really did kill the moon a lot of people messaged me afterwards saying wow that was just terrible and you know what yeah I hate to say this but when Jennifer started ranting on and stuff that kind of killed the stream and uh, well sorry Jen but uh, yeah so uh, I promise you next live stream well, not next live stream, but next time I have a guest on, it's just going to be that person and me and you guys as the community. But we will definitely, definitely be having shots. I just sort of backed out of that. Yeah, I know, Indigo. I, I can see you cringing, actually. Um, and this is a friend of mine, of course. So some of you know them, them some of you don't. Who knows, so. I will be making a thumbnail, and uh, why would you think it's Ryan? He's in America. Um, I do have my uh, antiseptic spray, which I'm gonna do spray right now, uh, or my antibacterial. 
And uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Pico Taro, he came out with a uh, new video. This is a hand. This is a soap. Wash, wash, and it kept going on. I don't know if you guys have seen that at all. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who it is, even if you do guess. Um, you're gonna have to stay tuned. Uh, if you guys have seen that Pico Taro thing, it's freaking hilarious. If you haven't, you gotta Google it, uh, YouTube it. It's freaking hilarious. So um, I'm gonna be walking around some people, so I will be having my mask on, taking my mask off, things like that. Um, and there you go. Darren Yokata, Bahahaha, PPEP. I have no idea. That means Kendomic. You guys can guess all you want. I'm not telling you. All right, so we're going to go. I'm going to take you over to the station, back up through this alley. <coughs> and I couldn't believe, because, you know, we're in Tokyo. You wear a mask. Could you make Darth Vader breathing sounds? <sighs> Robert. I am your father. This is Tokyo. And I could not believe how beautiful I saw something, right? Well, that's why I didn't say Luke. I said Robert. And is Luis R here? Is he lurking? Are you here, Luis? Come on now, make yourself known. So we are here at the station. It's a small little station. It is part of the Psycho Line, uh, which runs basically from Kaogoi down past into Shinjuku and it keeps going. But as I walked out of here, I could not believe, I've got my coffee here at the Family Mart. Yeah, there he is. I knew he was here. <laughs> I walked out here and I saw this. I could not believe I have never experienced this in 15 years of living here in Japan. It's a beautiful park. Another one on, the, on our way up out of Tokyo and into Saitama. Now the sun is in my eyes. I won't be able to see the comments very well for a while, but check this out. Got some sakura trees. You got like a little bit of a lake going on. That's how beautiful Tokyo is, people. They got solar panels right there to help out. Not sure what that is, whether it's a swimming pool over there or not. This is uh, part of the Hoikuen Yochien. It's like a kindergarten. So uh, the teachers are obviously, not the teachers, but the daycare givers or whatever are in yellow. And the kids look so cute. This here is the park area. And obviously you have like a walking path to go around. But due to my time, I'm not going to be walking around everywhere. But look at this. We got to get under this tree for A1, of course. Just like we did yesterday. But these cherry blossoms are still surviving here. Look how beautiful that is, guys. If you don't like cherry blossoms, sorry. <laughs> and then there's lunch. Hello, lunch. Look at this, look at this. You got uh, older guys fishing away here. How amazing is this? And this is like right in the middle. Hell, you even got a, what is that over there? Look at that, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Maybe we'll take a walk around the park a bit. What do you think? Might as well, eh? <coughs> what a nice little atmosphere. You got uh, people relaxing and uh, fishing away. 
They use uh, bamboo fishing poles, which is pretty cool. I knew Joshua would chime in on this one, being the fisherman and sportsman that he is. But look at this. Oh my God, this is freaking beautiful. I never knew this park was here. I wish somebody would catch a damn fish. And they're all sitting up along here. That is totally amazing. It's very peaceful, it's very quiet. Carp, uh, you would know it as koi fang, maybe. Kind of this carp and koi, I don't know. I always thought they were the same. But isn't this beautiful? Even all the like little accents on the side there, the paths and things like that. Thank you, Marty. <clears throat> How awesome. Truly amazing. You got a sakura tree, you got plum tree, cherry tree, plum tree. <laughs> How cute is that the little doggy? <laughs> Oh, I guess he's tired. Like, look how beautiful the, this pink. These are different uh, trees, of course, but. I, beautiful, man, beautiful. And of course, as I'm walking around, I am getting my daily exercise. Uh, I recorded my lowest weight of 113.8 last night. So I'm still going, I'm trying my hardest. I tuna shogun, I have no idea who you are, but thank you for joining. <coughs> and they actually have um, some signs here saying no uh, reels. So you can't use like normal fishing poles, I guess. I guess that's what you call it. I have no idea. Come on, catch a fish while we're walking by. Oh, your hickory smoked tuna. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I had a feeling it was something to do with that, but I didn't want to make myself sound stupid as, a, as I said it. You changed your channel name. This guy's got like binoculars. That's crazy. I don't know what the hell he needs binoculars for, but look at this. It looks like uh, we have to go all the way down then around. <coughs> they do have a map that was behind me um, showing certain spots and stuff, but I have no idea, A1, what fish are in the pond. <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry, but it is. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day here. It's about 18 degrees Celsius. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's nice to, you know, once you get rid of that cold weather and you can get out and walk around. Uh, sorry for those of you that are stuck and isolated and stuff right now. I'm sure that we will be isolated soon. Thought that'd be a better view here. Um, so I might as well take advantage of being able to walk around. Hey, for a better future. Oh, you changed your logo? Um, oh, there's not a lot of people around, so I'm okay. Um, but what an amazing park. Look, we've got a little bridge here. Good try on the, uh, I, I watched a little bit of your live stream replay, John. Nice guitar playing. 
Look at this. Even the, just like little things like this. Okay, it's not the, the nicest looking water and stuff, but like this is what I love about Japan. You know, I, I know we have things like this all over the world, but being able to show you guys things that I'm seeing for the first time also, that's what I absolutely love. And actually right here behind me is the embankment for the Arakawa River, but we're gonna go a different way. Show you a bit of the city as we walk around. I didn't plan on walking around this park to show you, but damn the tips of this gate look like they would hurt if you sat down on them. That's for sure. You know, people are walking around, jogging around. Pretty freaking cool people. And I do thank you. Um, if you wouldn't mind, uh, again, as always, uh, let's try to get it to 100 likes again. Um, it's amazing. We got like 140 likes yesterday. That was like blowed my blew my blowed blew my mind when I woke up. And uh, for a small little old me channel, that's quite successful. So smash that like button. Fang, really? Is that all it is? Is pocket rockets to you? <laughs> Give me a super sticker. We'll go find some pocket rockets. <laughs> I think as soon as we get around this corner here, it'll turn into a bit more beautiful um, view. Looks like this here is a school or a sports field. It actually has grass. There's a baseball diamond there. They do have lights, so must be something going on. And then we're gonna walk this way. I was joking, Fang. I mean, uh, yeah, Fang, don't do that. <laughs> now I gotta go find a pocket rocket, damn it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Kids are not in school in Tokyo. Uh, they're out until May 6th. They, um, I, I believe all schools will be shut down as of tomorrow. I'm waiting for an announcement from my company, even though we're a private company. But yeah, it's, I know you guys in America, especially in New York, you know, and around the world, certain areas are a lot worse off than Japan. And uh, no need for a pocket rocket? No, I will find one for you, Feng. But look at this, look at this view right here. Isn't that amazing? They got the festival lantern still up. New Mexico is stuck at stay at home until April 30th. They're closing the liquor stores. Oh my God, go, Bobby. Go get alcohol now. Don't worry about this live stream. You need you need to go get alcohol. <laughs> and send it to me. Look at this. How the the sakura trees overhang the pathway. You got like little birds flying around. This is truly beautiful, people. You got the whole lake. You know, obviously we walked all the way over there. Uh, yes, it, 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 yes, it does, A1, unfortunately. Hence why you're getting live streams and uh, trying to uh, supplement my income. Of course, people are looking at binoculars. Hope he's looking at pocket rockets. <laughs> and everybody's fishing. So it really does make me wonder what kind of fish they have in this, in this pond here. <laughs> Fang. It, it, home brews, eh, Indigo? That would be fun. <laughs> Look at this, like, just walking around, you know, these Japanese guys are fishing, smoking, drinking their beers. They all, they all see that they have the tips in the water. They have these uh, interesting little rod holders. So it's something I'm not used to seeing, but that is kind of interesting. No idea what they're fishing for though. This guy's got an umbrella going on. This 
got an awesome little setup there. Check it out, eh, guys? How amazing is this? You never know. You have like a little uh, area here for uh, kids to play in. <coughs> More Sakura. Like that is freaking, oh, I love this country. I love this area. Then we're gonna go check out this thing here. I hope I'm allowed to walk on the grass. Yeah, I sometimes wonder that too, uh, uh, Tuna. I'm just gonna call you Tuna. Okay, soft porn, some weird statues. Nice, some nice tulips, of course, uh, to represent Holland. I have a feeling that this is all donated. Check this out, guys. As I back up, I'll try and pan up slowly here. How awesome. I've never seen this in uh, Japan, actually. I'm just walking backwards. That's pretty cool. It's got a clock on every side of the tower. Uh, is he driving? Okay. That is cool, eh? This lady's playing music and jogging and dancing with her kid. And then as we go, we're still hitting some beautiful tree area. Like, how amazing is this? There's a PR. So, wow, this was really unexpected, people. I did not expect to, uh, when I got out of the station, because it's my first time at this station, I did not expect to have such a beautiful park area right here. Did not expect it at all. So that's pretty awesome. Look at that, look at that. Amazing. Everybody thinks Tokyo is a cement city. Hey, Mohammed, how are you, brother? You know, and there's just so much more to uh, Tokyo than just this cement city and things like that. Okay, can I get out of here? Do I have to go all the way back? I'm looking for a shortcut through the fence. Doesn't look like it. More lunch walking around. Here, pigeons! Of course, I'm wearing layers again today. My hoodie and my down vest. Duh! Like, seriously. Why I am wearing all this i should be wearing just a t-shirt it's uh i guess like when i leave in the morning to go on location it's a bit cooler and i should look at the weather report a little bit better but i don't yeah so yeah that's it guys that is uh an amazing little park area Pigeons are flying cockroaches. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we got a bit of a walk of ahead of us down this street here. Um, you can see we are up over in this area up here. And uh, basically we're gonna walk, go up, and here's the, the river area, which is what I wanna show you. So supposedly, look how blue the sky is too. Isn't that amazing? 64 people, thank you everybody for joining. As you're here, could you please smash the like button? We're trying to get to 100 likes today. Again. That'd be pretty awesome if we can. Show your support and smash that freaking like button. <laughs> Thailand Rob, if you know him, his favorite store, 7-Eleven. We're coming up to an actual Chinese restaurant. It's a chain here in Japan called Bamian. Uh, I've only eaten there a couple times. I have actually one right behind my house. 
And uh, it was actually pretty good the second time I ate there. Oh, I should steal this sign. Where's Vicky? Cobra would tell me to steal this sign right here. Um, yeah, how about you change that? Scratch out a zero and change it to a one. Mike Hunt is in the house. Christian, good morning. Thank you for joining. We're up to 41. Pretty good. Thank you. So, yeah, this is the Chinese uh, restaurant here. What's the yellow line for? Uh, it's for blind people, actually. They're all throughout Japan. Uh, it helps the blind uh, walking. Um, and I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that on most major streets, the... Uh, the uh, yellow line here lead to all major train stations. I'm not sure if Bamian is open or closed. Oh, it looks like they're open. No, they're closed. Kind of hoping I got to go up this way. Oh, Jason, thanks, brother. Thank you for the support. After about 10 minutes, I mean 20 minutes or so of walking, I will need a freaking beer. Ugh. We're in a bit of a residential area. I believe I'm going to be going underneath the train area here. And then I think I'm turning right. Um, so anybody following on Google Maps, you guys can direct me as to which way I got to go. Thank you, Jackie, for posting the Patreon. Appreciate it. For the price of a coffee, guys, you can join the TD Crew family. It does help support me, bring you uh, live streams. And of course, we do have uh, private live streams, private videos, and postcard uh, every month, so. But thank you. Okay, I'm coming up to a Lawson. I, this is my first time in this area, like I said earlier, everybody. So, <laughs> this could turn into a Lost in Tokyo thing. My mouse button is broken. I think you could fix it with a Dyson giveaway. Oh, we got our first Dyson. Thank God Wanamaker's not here. Or is he? <laughs> <laughs> no Wanamaker, Mindy's mom, Lady Mur Oh, I just tripped. Lady Murasaki. Come on, people, where are you? But for those that are here, thank you very much. We're at 69. Oh, see, Wanamaker's got to come now. We're at 69 people. <laughs> Everybody shut out Dyson. <laughs> I think I'm going up to that street up there. I think. This is uh, the Psycho Line uh, train. So I know I'm going in the right direction in a way. He would have his ears burning, Mike. <laughs> uh, I love it. Ah. Oh. I am not sad, Robert. Like, I have a Dyson because my wife likes it. Me, I don't care. I'd rather have a broom and a dustpan or the Roomba. We have Roomba. We have a uh, kind of like a Hoover style, not a vac shop or anything like that, but uh, we've got a Dyson. Hiromi loves Vacuum cleaners, I swear to God. The Roomba walk, runs around our house, rolls around our house for like two hours when we go out. Gotta lift everything up, and oh, it's a pain in the ass. But then again, we do have hardwood floors throughout our whole house, so um, it is, uh, I guess you need things like that, right? You know. Dyson too pricey for me. 
Did you get my line message, by the way, uh, Luis? <laughs> Thanks, brother. Was on my cell and put in one like. Now on the tab, I put another like. Right now, Drew is echoing. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, let's get out. Let's get those likes up there, people. Wanna go, Shmas? 45 only. Almost halfway to 100. Uh, yeah, Mike Hunt <laughs> brought up the dice, and I'm pretty sure. Chris Hansen, how are you? Every time I see your name, I always think of the Hansen brothers. Uh, a great hockey movie, by the way. All right, we are coming up to an intersection here. Uh, typical, uh, oops, I didn't turn the camera around. I am now at Highway 17, Nakasendo. And I'm gonna be turning right and going up towards the Arakawa River. I'm sure I got stairs to climb and uh, but getting my exercise. Everybody's still out and about, driving around. Things look like they're open. God damn it, I gotta go up that thing. Uh, PR in front of me. Well, that's a small little vending machine, actually. Only six by three? Huh. Hi, Betty G. Good morning, evening. How are you, darling? Sorry, right. Betty G's in the house. Hi, Betty. Okay. Well, that didn't work. There we go. <coughs> so this is the uh, obviously a road to go over the river, um, but it looks like I got a no idea what I'm doing. I'm hoping to get up into the uh, river area. I'm not necessarily going to be walking around the whole area. Because Arakawa, Arakawa uh, it goes for miles and miles and miles. So just to give you guys a bit of a, you know, an area that most people won't see on a normal day, I guess. Good job, Eddie. Yeah, there is a pedestrian thing up here. I do see it. Just passing by apartment buildings and stuff. Oh my, I gotta take painkillers. Oh, thank you, Follow the Sun. Super sticker! Arigato! Hontoni arigato gozaimashita. Now, you will hear me huffing and puffing because I'm old, I'm fat, and walking up hills is not for me. I ledge alert. Damn, I missed it? Oh yeah, back there. But there's another one over there. But no, we're gonna keep going. I gotta get down to that 99 kilograms, man. I'm just hot as hell. So as you can see, we were walking around that park earlier and I had said like there's the embankment to the river and we're coming up to the same embankment again. So instead of going out onto the street, I guess I could have walked that, you know, from that way down, but oh well. Ah, oh, pretty little pink trees with pink little flowers and some guy squatting. <coughs> Yeehaw. Ooh, it's hot as hell. All right, we're getting there. <coughs> you guys are nuts about your Dyson. Cherry blossoms make you happy. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, follow the sun. Okay, here we go. The long climb, that's only 20 seconds, but... I think I gotta find a ledge and take my jacket off. I'm freaking hot. At... Happy, happy, joy, joy. Looks like I'm crossing the wrong bridge. Damn. 
Oh, you know what? We're going to take a walk down <coughs> here. Because if I cross the bridge right away, there's not much to show you. <coughs> so they do have this pathway, <coughs> which we can walk along. And like they got soccer fields here. The river is actually way the hell over there. Looks like they have some sort of Oh, this is um, a bike. They have boat races way over there. Bike paths, all kinds of interesting things. Now, it wants me to go here and up over there, but why can't you just have like a little break right here to walk along? Which is what I'm gonna do. We are now hashtag Arakawa under the bridge. Uh, no worries, thank you, Indigo. But it's nice to have like a walkway here. You know, you can see the city. You can actually see Sky Tree from here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right there. That's the Sky Tree way over there. So we are basically the northern part of Tokyo. The other side of that river is Saitama Prefecture. There are no ledges up here. And you can go all the way down. There are all kinds of different things to do. Uh, there's baseball fields. There's so much to do here, but you know, you can see like all the city over there. That is Akabane area over there. And yeah, this is basically what we're doing, people. We're gonna head back a bit because there's nothing really here to show you. I thought, uh, We'll walk across the bridge, see what the other side is like. But first, I need a ledge. This bench will do. Uh, yeah, but they were too high. So... Uh, I just want to take my hoodie off. And have a bit of coffee first. Uh, It's peaceful here. It's really nice. I, this is my first time actually walking here. So how about hitting the but, like button? Thank you. Drew's being beached. Oh man, benched. <laughs> There's Vicky. <laughs> I was talking about you earlier. 52 likes. We're halfway there. Awesome. I do got to be careful because Hiromi, my wonderful wife, did make me lunch and dinner because I'm going to a school today and uh, I'm going to be a bit late. So again, I, I do want to eat, you know, dinner and things like that. So and I'm, I'm putting my down jacket back on, but I do have short, short sleeves um, just so I can carry stuff in my pockets. Oh, this bag is heavy. Okay. Ah. Now, most importantly, have my cigarette. I mean, coffee, gotta have my cigarette. Keep the mask clean. And uh, yeah, let's go and show you the rest of uh, the transition from Tokyo to Saitama. Woo! All right, here we go. So we'll, yeah, we'll head back out. It's always nice to walk around, getting my exercise. Huh. I wonder if that's like a homeless person's stuff that they keep there. 
Yeah, LMA probably uh, left. Yeah, I just horked. Deal with it. Let's hop over this thing if I can. Oh no! I almost fell. I almost fell in some pudding. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah, there's many Dyson fans today. I hope Wanamaker's not here. I have fallen and I can't get up. So yeah, we're just gonna walk along the bridge here. Nothing spectacular, but... <coughs> that there does say Arakawa. Ara and the kanji for Kawa, which means river. Not much here, eh? You can see something going on on the other side over there. Well, that's giving you a better view of you know, they got park areas because once we hit the actual river, it's not that big. <coughs> I believe there's actually a sign saying welcome to Saitama up here. I think. Could be wrong. Maybe it's on the other bridge. I'm just not sure. But I do appreciate uh, everybody being here. Uh, not sure uh, what, what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the week. It's kind of boring to look there, I guess. Um, tomorrow and Thursday, uh, just a regular work day for me, as far as I know. But you never know, with the state of emergency that has uh, been declared as of tomorrow for uh, most of the area that I live and work in, who knows, maybe I, I'm gonna have to do drinking live streams again. <laughs> like I don't like those. <coughs> maybe we'll get some mu better music going on, you never know. Tomorrow visit Japanese library? No. Libraries are the devil's instrument. Honestly, it's a bit of a boring walk going across this bridge. It really is. It looks like there's a lot of joggers out right now. Um, If you are from America, obviously we drive opposite of how you guys drive. Karaoke bar. You see, Fang, I can't play copyrighted music. That's the thing, right? Okay. Our department stores, hair salons, Shinkansen! Going quite slow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then this is the actual river. So, see, it's not very, it's, it's wide enough as a river. You got the local train going now. So the Shinkansen going up uh, to Utsunomiya, over to uh, Kanazawa area does come up this way from Tokyo. Do a jig or something. There. There are no homeless here. If you were um, over by the Weno area, you would see a lot of uh, homeless blue tent areas, which uh, is pretty much where they all are. Two Gangnam style. Fang, you're just... Change, you're supposed to be having a cooking live stream tomorrow. Oh, cool. Nobody's fishing here, but they're all fishing in that pond back there. 
I don't know if I'd actually trust fishing in this river. Uh, our department stores bar slaw, I have no idea. Uh, I do know that Lumine, a uh, department store, will be closing for sure. They've announced it. As for other places, I'm pretty sure, like a lot of small businesses, will close. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, we've got to wait and see to see what's going on, really. You know? Um, I could be stuck at home, which would, like, majorly suck. I just don't know what to do at home. Like, you know, I could... Lately, when I'm at home, after I do a live stream, I start re-editing uh, older videos uh, for my SEO and try to change some thumbnails and, you know, repost different cards and stuff like that. Trying to, but I got over, like, 650 videos, so after about 10 videos, I'm like, <sighs> it's hard work. It really is. But uh, trying to make playlists... So, if you guys haven't checked out my playlist, by all means, check out uh, my playlists. Um, Ricky, what about the department stores that have basement foods? Good question. Um, I don't know. I really don't. We try to buy shots in hopes that TD will get drunk and by mistake give out the dice. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking shots for me to make a mistake, right? <laughs> you have more models to put oh Betty don't remind me with the models no yeah I got a pagoda to put together and a treasure box oh there's somebody fishing somebody down there <laughs> he's okay that's lazy fishing he's basically sleeping and he's got his fishing poles in the water that is very lazy style fishing Huh. Looks like he's got a net with some fish in it, though. Ah, people are actually boating here. Oh, he's actually, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, cool. Water skiing. Go faster! Faster! Oh, he didn't hear me. Oh, well. I love how you say lazy fishing. I saw. <laughs> yeah, I bet you, Carly. Just, I bet you. Like, I'm going to be hitting my grocery store tonight. Probably uh, getting a lot of bento boxes that are uh, already done. Yeah. See, I can drink. I can pound them back. That's the problem. Trust me. After my li drinking live streams, I do pass out and sleep for a couple hours. Oh, that guy just scared me. So yeah, that's pretty much the Arakawa River area. Hey Sam, how are you? Thanks for joining. I'm passing uh, across Arakawa Dori now. Still don't know where the hell I am. I just know I got to go that way. Follow the train tracks in a way. Looks like I got to go over that way. This here looks like a police box. Yeah. Nobody in it, of course. How fun. And I thought, wait a sec, did I pass the sign? Oh, I did. I didn't even notice. Can you see that sign? Right, right there somewhere. It actually says, that's the Saitama uh, Tokyo border. It says the total bridge, it's called Toda Bridge that I'm on, I was just on. It's 519 meters, so half a kilometer. We are now in Saitama Prefecture, so we have left Tokyo. We have left Tokyo! Wow, it still looks like Tokyo. I remember I took my bike along here one time, I think, or maybe it was the other bridge. There's like four or five different bridges that go across the Arakawa River area, so. Kids 
must be having fun not being in school, that's for damn sure. But I don't want kids on my live stream, so I'm just gonna point the camera over this way for a minute. I just saw something kind of interesting. It looks like they're building some sort of a park here. Um, I'll back up so I don't get the kids in the view here, but it looks like they're building this park here because I just saw this like little rest stop area, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yes, I believe that the, the park, I passed by it already, I think. And this is this is how they fit things in. A kid's park kind of style thing under the road, under the highway. That's crazy. No Godzilla here now. Thank God. Hey, Colonel K, how are you? Yeah, this park actually looks nice. They just... They just laid down the sod, it looks like, uh, a little while ago. Not sure uh, the meaning of this little park here, but I'm sure it'll look nice. Nice wooden fence. Pretty cool. Now I do know I have to go under this bridge, I believe, to get to the other side, because I gotta veer off, but, oh no, there goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla. <laughs> oh no, go, go, Godzilla. I'm surprised they don't have anything under in here. Just got off work, two to 10 shifts, oh, that sucks. I have never worked a crazy shift. Well, actually, when I was in the casino years and years and years ago, I used to work uh, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., but that was almost a norm. I did that for, I don't know, 14 years. No idea where I'm going, people. Whoa, cars. Okay, like, you're not going to stop. It's a crosswalk, lady. Jeez. I think I'm going to go up this way I really have no idea where I am oh, I need a ledge ledge hunters be aware find me a ledge who was asking about that was, where are you today uh, sounds like a song it is a song fang <laughs> So today I started off at uh, Ukimafunado Station. We actually found a really nice park that I never knew was there. People, some old grandpa people. Um, thanks, Luis. I just got your message. Um, and uh, found a nice park. Some grandpas were out fishing away. Um, so lots of sakura trees. I walked over the Arakawa River. Um, and I'm heading up to Toda Station area. Uh, you know, places that you don't know, typically see from J vloggers, I guess. But we are in the city now. Um, my 19-year-old daughter thinks you're hot. Oh, I gotta get that off my camera. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Only in the TD community do we get comments like that. Is she drunk? <laughs> okay wait I think I gotta go that way I think I gotta go this way let's find some back streets and alleys to walk around my tooth is killing me I need painkillers I need whiskey whiskey yes whiskey love these red bushes kind of like the same things we saw yesterday Live stream on Japan Idols. It is a very nice day, Keith. Uh, it's probably about 20 degrees now. <laughs> yeah, you never know where Moto Nome will pop up. Uh, 
I just know I gotta, like, this train will take me to Tota Station, so. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Sorry. It was funny. Looks like we got a, like another river over here. Highway 17 is over that way. I know I'm going to get lost, people. I know it. I just know it. I should have stayed on the other side. I believe I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, creepy car parked on the, on the bridge for no reason at all. See, if I go down here... Looks like I have to cross over. I don't know where I am, but this is half the fun of it. Lots of construction going on. Saving it for the weekend? That scares me, Luis. I'm gonna go down this way. I see some nice sakura trees at the bottom here. <coughs> As you can probably see right up in that area. Oh, wow. Making use of space. There's a tennis court right here underneath the highway or the train, uh, the train thing. Damn. They sure know how to capitalize on space, don't they? Two tennis courts are here, right here. If you guys can see that, I can hardly see through it. It's a blue court. Yeah, right? Can't really see anything, but obviously that's probably the purpose, but we've got a bit of a break here coming up. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's just one tennis court. Just one. That's crazy ass. Whew, getting hot. It is truly getting hot. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, you never know, Nancy. <laughs> See, that looks nice. If the river was nice and clean, how it curves around and things like that. You know, that's kind of like the beauty I do appreciate here. You'll find all kinds of different things, right? But the most important part about that kind of stuff, TD, it's all in the shade. True. I love how they just insert these trees, you know, to beautify. Oh, another, yeah, another tennis court here. So good, uh, good uh, use of space. And yeah, we're gonna walk under the cherry trees. All the petals are falling. What a beautiful feeling. <laughs> 